I'm Bill Marion in Franklin County, Tennessee, home of the Natural Bridge and the Judds. And this is a Nose for Life. I was glad to have mom and her husband and one of my very best friends, Dennis Johnson, on this trip. In fact, it was their idea. Mom wanted to see where the Judds live. And who were the Judds? Well, I'm glad you asked. Until the 1990s, the Judds, Naomi and Wyona, were the biggest and most successful duo in country music. And even if you don't like country music, most people agree that this duo has the ability to write and sing songs that cross over to almost any genre of music. Their universal sound hasn't aged at all. So yes, I'm a fan as well. Wyona Judd has had a pretty good career on her own, and she has a pretty famous sister, Ashley Judd, who's an A-list actress and a political activist. But we ran out of time to find the Judd's famous estate, which is a thousand an acre spread outside of Nashville on the Nanchez Trace Parkway. Apparently, we were going the right direction, but we never ended up in the right ballpark. Then, our appetite got the best of us, so Mom missed out on seeing the Judd's amazing estate, but we did find Tennessee's Natural Bridge. So the Natural Bridge here in Franklin County, Tennessee is about 20 minutes off of I-24 on Highway 41A, if I'm not mistaken. It's a great little park to check out the natural formation that makes a very natural, straightforward looking bridge. And it's hard to believe when you're walking across it that it that it's completely natural, like people didn't come in here and build this thing. Nature built it for everybody and it's pretty cool. Now you can see behind me this bridge and it makes a perfect bridge across uh, this little gully here in the side of this hill. And it's pretty amazing. It's completely natural. And, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a sandstone. I don't know the exact geological term for what this is. I'll have to look it up and maybe edit that in later. But it's a type of sandstone. And basically just the weather has caused erosion and has created this perfect land bridge. That's kind of cool. Tennessee's Natural Bridge isn't a huge state park. It's only about three acres, but that's what makes it so nice. Most scenic attractions are a half day or a whole day affair, but Tennessee's Natural Bridge is one of those destinations you can see in 20 minutes. Located in Franklin County, Tennessee, about 20 minutes from I-24 and just down the road from Swanee University, also known as the University of the South, the Natural Bridge makes for a great detour if traveling through the area. If you've watched a few of our videos, some of the scenery in this video may look familiar, and and that's because Tennessee's Natural Bridge is close to Monteagle Mountain on the Cumberland Plateau. And we've done a few videos on the Cumberland Plateau. One of those videos, which seems to be pretty popular, is about Monteagle Mountain, which is also on the Cumberland Plateau. I'll include a link on our Monteagle video at the end of this video as well. In the next few weeks, we're doing a video about Crossville, Tennessee, a pretty awesome vacation spot, and it too is on the plateau. And by the way, if you live in Crossville and want to be a part of that video as a tour guide or simply make suggestions, let us know on our Facebook page at Bill Marion Life. Tennessee's natural bridge is made up of sandstone carved by water provided by the wet weather spring above the bridge. The bridge is 8 meters high and spans 15 meters. Below the bridge is a large cove and it too is said to have been carved by a creek and aided by the same wet weather spring that carved the natural bridge. Essentially, the cove is a very large but interesting sinkhole on the Cumberland Plateau. Keep in mind that this area is located down the road from Mont Eagle Mountain just before you make your descent down to the valley leading away from the Tennessee Valley and onto the fertile rolling hills of Middle Tennessee. I've said this before, but it's worth mentioning again. Carolyn and I live on the eastern side of the plateau, and while I argue that the eastern mountains of the Tennessee Valley are more majestic and grand, geologically, the Cumberland Plateau is extraordinarily interesting and far more livable. In the near future, I'll be making a video about the walls of the Tennessee Valley, and in that video, I'll talk about the vast differences between the two mountain chains that make up the Tennessee Valley. Now, I did a video about Mon Eagle Mountain and how unique that it is. Um, it's a great place to eat as well uh, up here on Mon Eagle Mountain because we're not far from Mon Eagle at all, maybe 20 minutes or less. You can actually watch that video if you click right here if you're on a laptop. Now, if you're cell phone, you probably didn't even see that link come up, but if you're you know on a laptop or your computer, you can click that link and uh, you can watch the video about Mon Eagle. It's a pretty good video. Looking up at the land bridge reminds you of something out of a fairy tale. It reminds you of something I'm out of a fairy tale or something medieval, uh, but it looks like a great place for the imagination, a great place that a writer would come and meditate and, and maybe write a story uh, about fairies and 
and Yoda and okay I just really confused mythology there but you know what I'm saying it's one of those places that you can use your imagination in all kinds of different ways you know there are a lot of natural bridges across the US and all over the world and they're just so neat to look at they're amazing and I'm imagining this I don't know this for sure but I bet architects can learn all kinds of amazing things and engineers I should say engineers and architects can learn amazing things from places like this where there's a natural bridge or some type of natural structure that can support people walking across it all year long. It's pretty cool. If you're a subscriber to A Nose for Life, I just want to say welcome back. I'm so grateful when you hit the like button on our videos and share our videos on your favorite social media sites, including Facebook, Twitter, and yes, even social sites like Pinterest. In fact, the only way our channel grows, especially videos like this, is when you share our videos. So thank you in advance for sharing this video and other Nose for Life videos, and of course, hitting that like button. If you're new to A Nose for Life, thank you so much for giving our video content a chance. I hope you're enjoying this video and I invite you to watch some of our other videos as well and consider subscribing to our channel. When you subscribe to our channel or if you have subscribed and haven't done so, please don't forget to click the bell for notifications. This way you'll know when we release our next video. A Nose for Life is a video content community. That means we do stuff. For example, on August 21st, we have an event at the Marina in Spring City, Tennessee on the path of totality for the eclipse. Remember, if you want to see all of the solar eclipse coming up, you must be in the path of totality and a nose for life is going to be there everyone in our video content community is invited however if you want to reserve a seat at the restaurant at the marina during the time of the eclipse i only have two seats left now you do not have to reserve a seat to be a part of our event but having a reserved seat at the restaurant is going to be really nice i would love to see you there now other than a fee for parking if you reserve a seat on the lake with a nose for life it's absolutely free all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and join our facebook page at bill marion life and follow us on twitter at Bill and Carolyn and leave me a message on Facebook or send us a tweet and the seats are yours. So I'm like underneath the bridge right now. It makes a really awesome arch. It's pretty cool. You know what comes to mind because I was talking about fairy tales and mythology and how that's what's what this looks like. What comes to mind is the Lord of the Rings. It looks like there should be a big Lord of the Rings battle here. Something that I've noticed uh, since we've been here is that, first of all, like I said, we're about 20 minutes off of I-24. There's been nonstop in and out traffic. There's not a great deal to see here at the Natural Bridge, but it is worth stopping by, and that's what makes it very convenient. So the parking, there's not a, a lot of parking space, but there doesn't have to be because really, it's a 20 minute attraction that's worth your time. It's 20 minutes off of I-24, so it's really just a matter of pulling over, stopping, walking down to the Natural Bridge, and walking back out. So it really is worth your time. If you've never seen it and you live near the Tennessee Valley within a couple hundred miles, it's definitely worth your time if you're in the area or if you're passing through, let's say you're driving from Chicago down to Florida and you pick up I-24 on the way down, then this would be a great stopping point maybe to come have a sandwich or maybe just to stretch out your legs while you're on a trip. Tennessee's Natural Bridge belonged to Swanee University until 1973 when the site became a Tennessee State Park. The site is managed by the South Cumberland Recreation Area and the site is operated by the Tennessee State Parks. Other than the bridge, there are some pretty cool trails too. As always, links are in the description to all the information provided in this video, including information about Swanee University, which is an amazing university by all accounts. Look, I'm not paid to say this or anything, but if you or someone you know is looking for an interesting university, University located in an amazing area, please check out the website I've included for Swanee. It's a pretty awesome place. Don't get me wrong, I'm a Union College in Kentucky fan myself when we're talking about small colleges, but Swanee is an awesome place to visit. You want to hear something funny is I've been to theme parks all over the U.S. and of course the big four down in Florida. I guess you could say the big six in Florida if you count Universal. And I do count Universal. And it's funny how theme parks will try to fake this kind of stuff or a, some type of themed roller coaster or, or attraction. And you come here and it's almost like you're expecting to get on a ride, which is really crazy because they're building that to mimic this. But when I'm here, I'm actually thinking of a theme park. because it, It's almost like we should be entering a ride to like Pirates of the Caribbean up here or something. Now the trail down to the bridge is a little steep but it's a good trail it's a fortified trail so it's good there are good stairs um, there are also extended trails all around the park now some people may find this humorous but there are areas on the cumberland plateau that are referred to as the west and the east that's not the exact saying but it's close the saying stems from the fact that there are many geological structures that look as if you would find some of these same structures somewhere in the american southwest and to the eyes it's kind of true if you take away the trees and the different rocks and soil and animal life but a lot of the plateau would have a striking resemblance to areas in the southwest 
but there are big differences between this location and the Southwest. But that's the point. Often we don't realize what's just down the road from where we live. And I believe that every town in America, and every town in the world for that matter, is a tourist destination. Every place on this planet has a story to tell, and the story here is of a natural bridge carved by nature, and it's fascinating. Like I said earlier, this is only one natural bridge of several natural bridges all over the world. Do you live near a natural bridge? If you have personal pictures of a natural bridge in your neck of the woods, post them on our Facebook page at Bill Marion Life. We would love to share your experience. I also want to take a little extra time to apologize for not posting as many videos over the past couple of weeks. The day after making this particular video, I was diagnosed with shingles, which is an adult version of the chicken pox. In fact, in the video before this video, I even mentioned running a fever, and it turns out that it was all related. Coming down with the shingles isn't a whole lot of fun, so it's really slowed me down just a little bit, but hopefully we'll be back up to full speed in no time. Again, I want to thank my mom and my stepdad and one of my very best friends, Dennis Johnson, for taking us on this adventure. As always, I'm grateful to my wife, Carolyn, who is the absolute best wife in the world and who's done a great job taking care of me while I've been sick. And I also want to thank my kids, Anna, Nathan, and Crystal for helping me out during a very difficult time. And thank you. Thank you for watching our videos, subscribing, and believing in what we're trying to accomplish here on A Nose for Life. I'm looking forward to this fall and beginning the next exciting phase. Like I mentioned several times in this video, this park in particular is close to Monocle Mountain, and that means it's close to one of my favorite places to eat. Yeah, being that we're on Mont Eagle, you know where I'm gonna eat. And by the way, I've got a great video about this restaurant, the greatest rib place on the planet. If you just click the link that's right up here in this corner. I think it's in that corner, I'm pretty sure. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bill Marion and this is A Nose for Life. The videos on your screen now are directly related to the video you just watched, so check them out.